My name is Anya Nivrazel um, and I'm the project manager of the Tools and Approaches project here at the Resilience Shift. We found as part of this work that there was over 60 resilience-based tools um, and these are across many sectors and many of them have opportunity to be applied in additional sectors to those they are already being used in. These tools help to enhance the resilience of critical infrastructure in many different ways. So whether it's at the early stage preparing for a shock or a stress or whether it's responding or adapting to it, it works right across the spectrum. So as part of this work we set up a, a number of workshops where we brought together those tool users and tool developers. For the practitioners, uh, they found out about new tools, about uh, additional approaches that they didn't know about previously. And for the tool developers, they got an opportunity to showcase their tools to new users. Uh, one of the approaches that we used in our workshops was an approach called action learning. And this is around how to bring people together to make change and how to implement change. And that's what a lot of the resilience shift work is about, is around implementing change in resilience. One of the most interesting things that we found out of this work was that tool developers don't often get a chance to stand in front of users and present and showcase their tool. They got some really useful feedback and several tool developers told us that they were planning on making changes and implementing new features as a result of the feedback that they received during the workshops. Um, we've summarized uh, these tools on our website. Um, there's a new toolbox that's available where you can see um, in detail what each of these tools does and you can filter uh, and try and find the ones that are most relevant to you. So for example, you could say, I'm in the water sector, I'm an operator, and then you'd filter right down to find the tool that's most applicable to you. We'd really like practitioners to get in touch with us and give us any feedback that they have on the toolbox. Um, or if they have an existing community of practice around their infrastructure or around a tool, um, we'd love to get involved and help engage them with uh, the resilience shift. We had several different grantees involved with this work. Uh, we worked closely with the Schumacher Institute. Uh, they facilitated a number of our workshops and they brought in the, the really key human-centered approach to change, which we found very useful and important for this work. We also uh, worked closely with 100 Resilient Cities um, and with Global Infrastructure Basel, who convened a number of our workshops. Um, we worked with Peter Hall from Wood Group and Igor Linkov from the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, they reviewed our work from an outside perspective to give a third party view. We've just recently published a report that tells the story of this work and how tool users and tool developers should interact more. I think it's a, a really helpful uh, output for both of them. So tool users, they'll, they get to understand better what tools are out there and tool developers get to better understand user needs and what should be going into their tools. I really enjoyed meeting the practitioners and meeting the tool developers and getting them interacting and seeing what each other thinks. It's been a really fun and interesting way to understand better how resilience should be implemented. Did I say critical infrastructure?